Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, let's talk a little bit about direct storage. A lot of uh, users ask me this question from time to time. I've had it. I had uh, one more request today and we're going to talk about the uh, direct storage, what it is and actually what will, when will it be available and what is required for this to work. So direct storage will first of all be something that will be used mostly for gamers and gaming on PCs. So the way things work right now is that when you play a game, okay, for example, I've started playing the uh, Halo Infinite uh, game and I have a lot of fun with it, but the way games work today on PCs is that they load a huge chunk of the uh, game into your system and that takes a certain amount of time before the game can start then they have an input output thing going on which means as you're playing the different worlds that you go through the different graphics that you go through there's some form of of course loading as you go on into the game um, and that although it works well on fast machines does create problems and some machines sometimes have a harder time actually making these games work well because it draws so much input output of data that a lot of machines have a hard time actually keeping up with the workload required. So direct storage is something new that is um, going to happen to Windows 11. It is going to be available sometime apparently in 2022. It will require you to have a uh, NVMe or a non-volatile memory express SSD with PCI Express bus 3.0 or higher and the NVMe SSD should be at least one terabyte or higher. You don't need those requirements. You won't have direct storage working. The other thing is DirectX Ultimate GPU. So you'll need something that is quite recent in the graphics processors on your PC uh, so that it can run and store the games that uh, use the standard NVMe controller. So what happens with direct storage is that it has a much more efficient way of actually uh, decompressing games and of actually using the input output requests for your computer. And this means much faster gameplay in general and much smaller footprint of what it needs to actually run your game. So instead of loading a big, big chunk of game, it can actually load almost real time if you want and this is going to of course have your games run more smoothly and it's also going to be uh, something that should help in um, higher hand PCs mostly because this is something that like I said the minimum requirements are telling you that this will be using higher end hardware and mostly for gaming PCs anyway um, so You'll have, of course, enhanced gaming experience, and this should make things a little better for most gamers out there with smoother graphics. And not just that, we, you know, real pure gamers, the ones that are the, 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 head, the hardcore gamers, we'll call them, which like, you know, high frame rates and as much detail as possible in their graphics. Well, this promises to actually increase the level of detail within the graphics in the different worlds they go through in the different games. Direct storage is not going to work on existing games unless they are rewritten to actually use direct storage. So that means that once this is implemented in Windows 11, the games that are going to run with that will need to be written for it. So older games will still use the good old way of you know loading a huge chunk into memory and and working in that same way that they did before um, and it's still stated to be available sometime in 2022 so this is going to be something that of course we'll probably talk about and announce and see uh, how it improves the gaming experience 
So uh, that's coming up eventually in the next year. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.